This is Echo 3, and let's continue our career mode discussion. In this video, we'll be wrapping up our missions in the Kerbin system. We can go to Mission Control and pick up a few contracts. I have upgraded the facility, so we can take up to 7 contracts at a time. Planting a flag on Minmus is pretty easy and pays very well. We can rescue a Kerbal from low Kerbin orbit while we're at it. This will get us a new Kerbal for our roster. And lastly, we'll take the world first contract to rendezvous and dock two vessels around Minmus. With the contract selected, we can spend some of our science points in the R&D building. I'd like to highlight a few of the techs I'm picking. I'm getting some better solar panels, some bigger rocket parts, and the very efficient nerve engine. I'm also unlocking the docking port. Lastly, I'm getting electronics because it unlocks the seismic accelerometer. These new experiments will end up getting us a lot more science points. With our science points spent, we can go to the VAB and build our crafts for this mission. Since we need to rendezvous and dock two craft in orbit of Minmus and plant a flag there, we can build and launch a lander for that purpose. We should also take advantage of this opportunity to get more science points. We can fill this lander can with experiments, including the new seismic accelerometer. We also unlock some new breaking ground surface experiments, and we will add those to our craft as well. Our engineer leveled up on his last mission. This means he can now double the output of the deployable solar panels. That means we can take less of them for these experiments. The lander only needs to land and return to orbit of Minmus, so it can be rather light on fuel. My plan is to launch this into orbit around Kerbin, then have our main craft dock with it and take it to Minmus. We will still use this craft to rendezvous and dock around Minmus, but we don't have to launch it all the way there for the contract to count. I made sure to add some RCS thrusters on this craft to make docking a little easier, but there isn't any need to add lots of them, just enough to make some small translation maneuvers. And I'm making sure to add lots of science to this. Since we have contracts paying for this mission, it is best to get as much science as we can, basically, for free. Now I'm adding an antenna, and the reason why is I decided to make this craft to be able to be controlled by a probe. That way, uh, I can land a scientist and an engineer and not need a pilot to land this craft. And there we go. Now we need enough rocket to take this into low Kerbin orbit. There we go. And we don't need a full poodle engine, so I'm just going to add a couple of the terrier engines. And then we need something for the main oomph. So we'll put this in a fairing. And sometimes fairings are a little tricky, but we get it. That'll just help with the aerodynamics on the initial launch. And we, this doesn't take much rocket to then get this into orbit. So it's just this much fuel and a skipper engine, maybe a few fins, and we're set to launch this into low Kerbin orbit. All right. Let's see. What should we call this thing? I don't know. It's a lander can. What do you, we'll call it a lander can. All right. Let's take this to orbit. Orbit ends up going... Uh, pretty uneventful. Uh, this is a solid gravity turn we're making right here and we're just gonna burn as fast as we can. Right now we're burning tangent and that's really the goal is to burn tangent and get as much horizontal speed to reach orbit. The target orbit for this craft is one that is similar in altitude to our stranded Kerbals. The goal being that it'll be just a little easier for our next craft to rendezvous and dock with both of these. The mission for our main craft is to rendezvous and rescue a Kerbal in low Kerbin orbit, then rendezvous and dock with the lander, travel to Minmus, and stay in orbit there while the lander takes two Kerbals to the surface. Finally, the main craft will rejoin the lander and return all our Kerbals and science points back to Kerbin. So we need a craft that can hold at least four but we can make a five passenger craft. This will let us take Val along and get her some experience points. We need to land this back on Kerbin, so we should probably add some parachutes since our Kerbals have not learned how to reliably litho brake. 
these four parachutes should be enough to slow the craft down. Uh, I'm doing this by feel, but I have seen online calculators for parachutes. I regularly see players ask how they can get better at building rockets. One simple answer is to design the rocket for the mission. In career mode, we have missions to help guide us so we can design our rockets for the particular missions. There are online tools like Delta V Maps that are very useful as well. It would be nice if something like that were included in the stock game. In designing for a mission, try to make your craft as light as possible. The less mass the final stage has, the less fuel it needs, and this has a cascade effect on all the lower stages. The launch stage is going to be very similar to the lander. But we are launching more mass, so we need to bulk up the launcher. We're going to need three times as much fuel, but in so doing, the skipper engine doesn't have enough thrust. So, to give the craft a high enough thrust to weight ratio on the pad, we can add a couple solid rocket boosters. SRBs can be a cheap way to add thrust on the launch stage of your rockets. Notice that I have the decouplers towards the top of the boosters. This will give us a clean separation. Then we can add a couple struts on the bottom to keep it secure. A lot of players wonder how they keep their uh, boosters stable. Well, struts. After adding a couple fins, this craft is ready for launch. We can give it a creative name, put all our kerbals in. Our first goal is to reach the stranded kerbal. I have waited to launch until his craft is just starting to pass over the Kerbal Space Center's continent. This means we should get an encounter on our first orbit. Ideally, our burn to circularize our orbit will coincide with the burn to match orbits with the target craft as we rendezvous. I will be using the map mode to plot the rendezvous. By right clicking on the different orbital indicators, I can have them remain visible. Key things to note are the apoapsis and periapsis of the target craft, the closest approach marker, and the orbital intersect marker. In this case, there are two intersect markers and we'll be focusing on performing our rendezvous at the second one, colored purple. It will change to orange once we pass the first intersect marker. You can see my full rendezvous and docking tutorial for more information. Note that I am burning on the target side of the retrograde marker. This will have our craft get closer to the target and decrease our relative velocity all in the same burn. This is a more efficient way to rendezvous than switching back and forth, burning toward the target and burning retrograde and back again. Upon nearing our stranded Kerbal, we can switch over to his craft. He will EVA and go over to our main craft. The EVA controls are a little different and can take a little bit of time to get used to. And I often struggle to fly, especially with these odd angles. After rescuing, it is time to join up with our lander. This will require another rendezvous. I can see that it is behind us in orbit, so we will need to raise our orbit and increase our orbital period in order to let it catch up with us. I set up a small burn at an orbital intersect point. This results in a very close approach if we are willing to wait a few orbits. I choose to spend time rather than delta V. Thankfully, the game has a time warp. And I make liberal use of it here while we wait for our several orbits to pass. And we are coming up on the lander. Again, I'm going to use the same technique to slow down and burn closer. Here we go. Now I use and I'm gonna screw this up. I'm gonna hit too hard. Yep. I just came in too fast. We need to redo this. Have the craft point their docking points at each other and slowly, as in less than 0.5 meters per second, have the craft come together to dock. Alright, there we go. Minmus is not in an ideal location. So we will need to make a mid-course correction and change our inclination. This can often be the case with interplanetary missions as well. After the ejection burn, you may need to make some small mid-course corrections. I also 
ended up screwing up this burn a little bit because I forgot to turn off the Terrier engines and uh, waste a little bit of Delta V. Fortunately, I caught the mistake in time and didn't have too many issues. Here's the mid-course correction burn. I'm going to set up a very close encounter with Minmus. And actually, I have it intersect so I can dump that fuel stage there on the lander that we don't need anymore. By setting up a very low orbit around Minmus, it will actually make the lander uh, have less to do. It'll just take a little less delta V to land and return back to orbit. Alright, we are now circularized and we'll have to pick a landing site. So we'll transfer the crew over to the lander and then we'll have it detach. I need a scientist and an engineer and I will use the probe core to land. But because I'm using a probe core, we'll need to make sure that it has line of sight with Kerbin so that the antenna uh, can reach and we won't lose signal and not be able to control the craft very well. All right, by using the maneuver modes, we can estimate our landing burn. Although I use Kerbal Engineer and it makes things a lot easier. You can actually see I have a suicide burn counter up there up top. But if you don't have that, you can use maneuver nodes and uh, come pretty close to estimating what you need to land. All right, now they're on the surface, let's gather some science. While we're here, we'll gather as much science as we can and we'll use the engineer to deploy some of these uh, science, uh, some of these uh, pieces of the breaking ground surface uh, deployables. We'll actually have the scientists deploy the science experiments so uh, they'll get a bonus on the science points there. These uh, science experiments, you just place them and let them run and with the communicator there we'll uh, get what we need. Plan our flag since we were getting paid to do that. Now we'll set up our orbital rendezvous with our main craft. Orbiting around Minmus is similar. We'll kind of wait for the craft to come almost overhead. Although rendezvous and docking around Minimus is so much easier because of the lower velocities um, and the low gravity. So if you need to practice, Minmus is probably the best place to practice rendezvous and, and docking. Once we have docked the two craft together, we won't need the lander anymore, so what I'm going to end up doing is doing a little bit of a retrograde burn and we'll dump it back into the surface. Again, landing and uh, rendezvous and docking, very similar. I'm going to use the same techniques here. Have the craft point towards each other, line up their docking ports, and slowly let them join together. And that completes our contract. Might as well save a little bit of fuel out of this thing. We don't really need it, but and it's a nice habit sometimes to get into. There have been a few times when I have needed it. One Kerbal will have to get out an EVA to gather the science from the lander and take it back to the main craft. There isn't another way to do that. Maybe in Kerbal Space Program 2 they'll fix that and there'll be something better that we can use. Okay, we're in a good spot to eject. We need to make sure our Kerbin periaps is under 40 kilometers and will be set. I'm actually going to burn retrograde here and kind of burn the last of our fuel. We don't need to do this. It'll just slow our velocity down and make landing a little easier. Other than that, we're going to land pretty safely. Make sure we eject that piece. Watch the plasma show. And oh good, we're going to avoid the mountains. Drogue chutes deploy. Main chutes deploy. And we're coming in for a safe landing on Kerbin. All right. Actually, this is a biome we haven't visited, so I'm going to gather a little bit of science before it. Here's our science. All right. Lots of science points. Got lots of funds. Leveled up some Kerbals. Thanks for joining me to discuss career mode.